Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I have so many exciting products right in front of me. So I have some Dior, Cicely, La Mer, I have Guerlain, Chanel, Charlotte Tilbury, everything is new. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be really fun to try all of these products together with you. And if you're new here and you love luxury beauty, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here. I think that we have the best beauty community here of so many knowledgeable makeup lovers. A lot of them are professionals, a lot of them have amazing makeup collections and I believe me you can learn so much only by reading the comment section under my videos because often we have professionals sharing their opinion and sharing their tips and tricks. I've learned so much from all of you guys so be sure to leave me a comment. I always enjoy reading your comments so much. Anyways, if you're returning, welcome back dear friends. I'm so happy, excited because yesterday I did my annual skin check at the dermatologist. I've mentioned in my previous videos and if you're not new, you probably know that I have a lot of atypical moles and I often get skin checks, everything is fine. So every time when I just finish with my annual check, I'm so happy. May is the Melanoma Awareness Month. I just wanted to remind you that it's going to be good to get your skin checked professionally by a dermatologist if you have a lot of atypical moles or if you have some some suspicious atypical moles be sure to get your skin checked professionally we all know about those charts a b c d um, we all know that you know in general how to check our skin but nothing 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 can replace a visit to the dermatologist office um okay so moving on to the makeup part of this video uh, i'm sorry for the long intro but i thought that it's really important that i stress this especially now um to kind of acknowledge the month the melanoma awareness month i want to share with you first um face mask that i recently started to use and i love now <laughs> okay this is not the makeup part but i use this mask face mask once a week and I find it to be really, really good and worth the splurge. This one is from Sisley and it's um, specifically designed and it's for sensitive skin. I find that it calms my skin and it's purifying and calming and really, really so nice, so pleasant. It also has this very light scent. This is the facial mask with linden blossom for sensitive skin. Um, not many people talk about it. So this is a mask that you actually leave on your skin for 15, 20 minutes and then you wash. Um, you wash your face with water, but I find that it just makes my skin so soft, smooth, calm. My dermatologist actually said that my skin looks amazing, which is great. <laughs> okay, I always feel happy when a dermatologist tells you, well, your skin looks amazing because you know it's true, they never lie. Okay, starting with, I only have my skincare now. I have a little bit of sunscreen. I don't have, I didn't pile on a lot of sunscreen because I'm going to stay at home and I'm not going to be close to windows. I wear SPF even at home. However, when I'm staying at home all day, I don't pile on a lot of SPF. So I have a little bit and I have the La Mer, which is my current favorite SPF. This one is SPF 50. And uh, this one I think is going to be gorgeous for those of you who have dry skin because it's like almost like a liquid highlighter when you apply it to the skin. Okay, you see the glow that's going on my skin. This is from the La Mer sunscreen. So I want to apply a little bit on my arm. My arms are a little bit tanned and this one in the sunshine has those little reflective, almost like reflective particles. They are so teeny tiny but it just immediately gives. Okay, here we go. So look how it just catches the light. It's almost like a liquid highlighter. Sometimes I admit I've used this one uh, even on top here on the top of my cheekbones because it catches the light so beautifully. So it is, I would say, gorgeous for those of you who have dry skin just to try it. It's almost like a beautifying, it almost has like these highlighting properties. But a little disclaimer, this one is way too expensive. So if you buy it, like you can probably like try in store before purchasing or purchase it if you find it on discount because it's a very beautiful product. I like to use it almost like, well, you can see that my face almost looks like it's highlighted right now. Anyways, 
This one is very expensive, so probably like have one for more special occasions like this one and then another one that is going to be a lot more affordable for just everyday use because this one is quite expensive. Even though it's 50 ml, 1.7 fluid ounce, it is quite expensive for a sunscreen because you're supposed to use a lot. Anyways, moving on to my tinted moisturizer, I'm going to be trying the La Mer Radiant Skin Tint in Very Light. I've tried this one in Fair and it matches my skin tone quite well but now I have a little bit of color to my skin, especially on the arms. You can see that my arms are a little bit deeper because I have been spending time outside. Not that I don't use SPF, but I use, but I, I suppose that I should use more. So I'm going to be a blanket here. I'm just going to dot it and then use a brush to blend. And let's see, I've used the fair in, I don't know, was it a year ago or so? So I've almost forgot how I like it. This one has SPF 30 and it is quite pricey for a tinted moisturizer. So I don't know, like, it depends on your budget. It has the typical La Mer scent and I like it. However, if you are on a budget, just, you know, there are so many tinted moisturizers that are much cheaper. So I just wanted to use this one. I love the Sisley tinted moisturizer. I think that this is one of my favorite tinted moisturizers, but here in Europe, we only have the shades one, two, three. I believe that in some countries they have zero. So the Sisley tinted moisturizer is absolutely stunning. I'm going to link it in the description box below. It is so incredibly good, but I don't know why, like even the palest shade that we have here is um, what, number one is so dark on my skin and I can't use it, but it's my favorite. I mean, for the late summer, if I've been on vacation, I really love it. So about this La Mer tinted moisturizer, I like to use it in the summer. As I said, I haven't used it for a year. It has the typical La Mer scent, which I find to be very relaxing, very I have some lip balm and I need to remove it to be able to properly apply it. But anyways, so it gives this very glowy finish. I would not recommend it if you have oily skin. Right now my skin is dehydrated. I have combination skin, which means that some parts of my skin are dry, some parts of my skin are oily. But overall, I like it. I use powder with it. And if you are oily, I would not recommend this one. It's way too glowy. Okay, so you can see all of this glow that's going on my face and right now you can see that my face matches perfectly with my chest and my neck. My neck is always a little bit paler and my chest are always a little bit paler than my face because I always wear something that covers my chest. My tops are never cut too low because here is where I have some atypical moles that I want to protect and even though I use SPF I never expose them to sunlight because when I was younger, when I was in my teenage years, I was spending magical summers on the seaside and without using any SPF and I developed a lot of atypical moles and I'm paying the price now. So please use SPF, it's important. Uh, this one is a brilliant product from Sigma. It's um, brow wax that I like to use every single day. So brilliant. Please teach your children to use SPF. Teach them that it's not ugly. Teach them that they're going to thank you later. <laughs> Just don't let them not wear SPF. Just make it fun. Make SPF wearing SPF a fun experience for them. It's really important. So I just applied my favorite Le Balm. I'm going to do a swatch party very soon. 
I'm sorry that I'm in delay with the swatch party, but I'm going to be swatching all of the tinted lip balms that have been released and that I purchased. Also, I have a lot of bronzers that I wanted to swatch um, and show you guys. So you can see the Lumiere Skin Tint, it gives my skin. On camera, probably it's not gonna be as good as it looks in real life, but I promise you that in real life, it looks actually very nice. It doesn't emphasize pores, fine lines, anything like that. It gives this very, um, glowy finish however you can see that my skin looks very very glowy so if you have once again if you have dry skin I believe that you're going to enjoy this product a lot and if you have um, oily skin I believe that this product is not the best one for you you can see that it didn't cover my mark here the famous mark that I have left from a spot it didn't cover it so you can see still see the skin through so it's an expensive product so be careful with your budget. I love it, but like you have to decide for yourself whether you want it or not. Now I'm going to be using my current favorite bronzer. This is the new bronzer from Chanel Le Beige. 2022 makeup collection. A huge thank you for all of you guys. I learned from you that this collection, the Le Beige collection, is going to launch on June 15th in the US. As soon as it launches, I'm going to let you know. Please follow me on Instagram. It's going to mean so much to me. Please give me a follow on Instagram. I promise that I'm going to start creating a lot more content on Instagram. I'm going to show you swatches and everything. I feel so motivated to create content for you guys. And you give me so much energy. So I absolutely love this one. This is the new color that was released and the new color is called 392. It's a medium shade. So it's a little bit darker than the classic bronzer and a little bit paler than the deep. And it doesn't look orangey. Moving on to my favorite oversized powder from Chanel's summer makeup collection. So it looks like we are now going to have a um, cruise makeup collection. I'm going to be using the oversized Kabuki brush. Once again, if you haven't watched my video and if you are interested in the new Chanel Le Beige makeup collection, I did a couple of videos actually. In Europe, we don't have the oversized highlighting powders. They only have them in Canada. I'm very curious to see if you guys are going to have them in the US. Uh, fingers crossed you're going to have them in the US, even though in Europe, we are not going to have them. So I like to use this bronzer. This is a sun-kissed powder and depending on your skin tone, you can use it either as a finishing powder or you can use it like just to add some color to your face or like a bronzer, depends, depending on the color that you're going to choose. I have the color light and right now it looks like a nice bronzing powder for my skin. I don't like to apply it all over my face, but I just like to apply it right here on my cheeks like a highlighter just a little bit on my nose, a touch on my nose, a little bit on the forehead. I'm just addicted to this powder and I can apply it also on my body. But it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous powder. I hope that Chanel are going to consider and make this permanent and I hope that they're finally, they are going to decide in the future to make them permanent and they're going to decide also to make the highlighting powders, to release the highlighting powders in Europe. I can't talk today. Anyways, but I'm happy. So I never use filters on my camera and I don't use actually also very sophisticated lighting because I want you to be able to see the colors, what they look like in real life actually. And um, now my camera is not very forgiving to me, <laughs> but I promise you that everything in real life, everything looks so much better. It just, like I wouldn't even, if I'm not on camera, I wouldn't even apply anything on this little spot here because in real life, the human eye is very forgiving and you don't really, you know, pay attention to such tiny details. I'm going to be using a little bit of loose powder from Chanel and um, going to use it on my beauty blender because the La Mer product is quite glowy for me and I just want to remove the shine only on places where... Oh, and I didn't apply, actually, I didn't use any concealer. Okay, so can we take a moment just for my under eye area because I didn't apply 
any concealer here. It's just the La Mer and it looks quite good because I'm gonna show you actually the products that I'm using. Okay guys, so this is the product that I'm using under my eyes and it really helps to soften the fine lines under my eyes. I love this serum, definitely going to repurchase it. Now, this one was sent to me from Shiseido. A huge thank you to Shiseido. At first, when I saw this, I saw the ingredients, I saw that it does have alcohol inside and I thought, well, I usually try to avoid alcohol in my skincare. However, I must say that I use it as a treatment. I use it in the morning and in the evening, just a little pump under my eyes and it really, really, really helps. So I would say that it's a brilliant product. I'm so, I'm happy and I'm really grateful to Shiseido for sending this over and I'm definitely going to repurchase it because my under eye area, I just don't find the need to use concealer and I really see that my fine lines under the eyes become softer. And then on top, after this, I use my favorite eye cream, which is the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. Now in the evening, I layer those two. In the morning, sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I'm only going to use the Shiseido serum, but I find that this serum is actually almost like a treatment serum for my under eye area. I really, really, really love it. So I don't have issues. I never have issues with puffy eyes. I never, well, until now, I'm 36 years old. I never wake up with puffy eyes. So this is not an issue for me. But then I have issues with uh, some tiny fine lines under my eyes. This one works so nice. I would definitely encourage you to try this one. So this is the Shiseido oh, Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. I'm going to link it in the description box. Definitely worth checking out. And then the other one that I really, really love is the Murat Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. You know guys that if you're based in the US and in Canada, Whatever you decide to purchase on Murat's website, you can use the code ANGELA20 and you're going to get 20% off. Just going on the website and on checkout, apply at the code so that you can get your 20% off and take advantage of whatever you want to purchase from Murat, USA and Canada. Now, moving on to my eyes, and for eyes I want to use this beautiful Dior Riviera eyeshadow palette. This is from Dior's Summer Makeup Collection. I, these are always limited edition, and Peter Phillips does such amazing... He, he, he's always the best when it comes to summer collections, when it comes to creating these gorgeous neutral colors suitable for the summer season. I think that this palette is gorgeous. I have been using it carefully. Now it's time to stop using it carefully. Well, I kept the design for as long as I could. Now let's go ahead and just, you know, use it. So now the color that I want to use is the middle shade. I'm going to get a big refra brush. This one is my favorite for quick makeup looks and I'm just going to apply the color all over my eyelid. I'm not going to spend much time. I just, um, I, I know that I'm very chatty. I realized that I'm very chatty today, but I just felt so excited. I felt like also checking your skin is a very important topic that I wanted to talk about with you. Okay, I'm going to be using now this color, same brush, just on the outer part of my eye. I, in the summer and spring, and all year round, if you know me, you know that, I like to keep my makeup quite simple. I don't like to spend a lot of time uh, with my makeup, doing my makeup or blending or I don't like the cardio blending. I just like my makeup to be quite simple. I always focus a lot on my base, on the way my skin looks. I focus a lot also on skincare and then the rest is just enjoying life. Taking a smaller brush, I'm going to go in the, this darker brown color here. And I love that the colors have some amount of shimmer but it's so subtle and elegant that it's not going to emphasize any lines on the eyes. It's just a very blurring, very velvety formula from Dior, which I absolutely adore. Okay, this is what we have so far and I'm going to pause the video to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to be back for mascara. I'm going to be using the Shiseido Mascara, this is a volumizing mascara 
from Shiseido. This is what I'm going to be using today. And it looks like today I'm using only favorites. So for, for my lips, I'm going to be using one of my favorites. You can see that I use it a lot. One of my favorite lipsticks, current lipsticks, and this is from Chanel's Rouge Allure L'Extrait Formula. Now, what was the shade? It's one of the nude colors. It's uh, 812. So this is the color and it's my most worn, one of my most worn colors along with the Dior Beige Oblique. I love these two colors. Now, um, once again, I'm getting ready now after that in the afternoon to film a video that is going to be like a swatch party and I'm going to be swatching all of these colors. I'm going to be swatching the tinted lip balms that I have um, and compare them. Also different bronzers that I wanted to compare. I have been meaning to do this video, but I apologize. I'm just adding a little bit more of the... I'm obsessed with this powder, I have to tell you guys. This is so soft, brilliant, gorgeous. I hope that Chanel are going to make these permanent. They have to be permanent. And if anyone from Chanel happens to watch this video, please release also the highlighting powders in Europe. It's like Chanel is a French brand. We can't not have them in Europe. Please, if you're from Europe, guys, let them know in the comment section below that we want them. Please support me <laughs> in this. Like, let's have these powders both in the US and in Europe. We deserve the highlighting powders. I mean, the bronzing powders are gorgeous. I'm going to purchase also the medium one because I believe that it's going to look... Okay, I overdid it. I, I did a little bit too much. Can we have too much bronzer in the summer? I believe not. So <laughs> anyways, I'm just going to look a little bit more healthy. That's going to be for today's video, for today's makeup look. I mentioned in the beginning that I have Charlotte Tilbury. Let's use a little bit Charlotte Tilbury. Now, my favorite product from the new Charlotte Tilbury Easy Makeup Kits, I purchased the bronzers, guys, one of the bronzers, just to try it. But my favorite product from this quick and easy t kits is the highlighter in chic glow you can get this separately it's going to come with a lid and can we just take a moment and have a look at this it is so beautiful like have a look at my check out my review because i showed you other products that i picked from this collection as well but can we just take a moment and see how buttery soft gorgeous this is i don't need highlighter now but i just wanted to show you how it looks because I believe that it's a product that you should not miss. It's just going to be very easy to put it in your handbag. And even if you don't want, you know, the whole set, the I wants are a little bit firm for me. I find that I don't use them. The I wants are a little bit firm. But then the date night blush is gorgeous. And also this, this one is my favorite, the Chic Glow Highlighter. And apply here. Just gives such a natural glow. I wouldn't apply this. I just want to show you because my skin is quite glowy anyways, but just wanted to show you how beautiful it looks. So let's go ahead and emphasize the glow a little bit. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's just a very subtle highlighter that I absolutely love. Okay, you can see it here. It's just a very subtle highlighter that I think that it's a must have for anyone who is like me, who has similar makeup style like me. If you like this kind of a very effortless, natural looking um, skin, I think that a good highlighter actually can elevate your whole look. And that's why I'm like, raving about this product so much. If I rave about a product, it means that I really love it and I believe that you're going to love it as well. So I think that it is a brilliant product from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so this is the finished look and I think that was all for today's video. Now I'm off to have a nice brunch. Um, it's well, the weather is a little bit cloudy, but I don't mind. I'm so happy and I'm going to just have a nice brunch outside. I'm going to buy some fresh flowers because those, um, like, I have very little flowers in the background left. So I definitely need some fresh flowers for the background so that we can all enjoy for my living room and also for here for my office. So once again, a huge thank you for spending time with me. It always means so much when you choose to watch my videos. I'm so happy that we can communicate here together and i hope to see you in my next video take care bye